a travel trailer with seven different sleeping positions, all able to sleep two people apiece. Meaning, folks, theoretically, you can sleep up to 14 people in one travel trailer. This is the all-new 2021 Keystone Passport 3400QD. All right, folks, this is one that I'm personally really excited to do. Um, I heard about this floor plan about a year, maybe almost two years ago now. And theoretically, when I heard about it, I'm just like, man, I, I don't know how you're going to pull that off. It just, it just doesn't make sense in my head. And then actually stepping foot into this floor plan, I am super excited about it. If you're looking for a travel trailer, any RV, where you want to be able to sleep a lot of people, this one knocks it out of the park. I'm telling you. There are seven different sleeping locations. They can all sleep two adults. They're all capable of it. Even if it's you know just one adult each, the fact you have seven beds that everyone can comfortably sleep in is amazing. Or maybe it's just you have a big family. This is a good one too. I'm telling you, uh, you know we'll we'll walk through it together. So starting off, as soon as you walk in right here, so you have the entry door. Take a look at this. Boom, you got big storage space. This is huge storage. If you have some bigger items, you can definitely fit them in here. If you have some kind of organization or something for like your pots and pans, you wanna throw them in there, great. You wanna put uh, you know, some um, jackets, hats, scarves, you can put those in there too. Throw a tension rod up, good to go. Control panel will be located right there. It is worth noting your water heater does run off both propane and electric. You can turn on both those at the same time for faster recovery. Right down below, I'll show you this. This is a courtesy light. You'll see those kind of throughout. And these are great. Um, you can turn them off if you so choose, obviously, but by having them on, when it's nighttime, you can turn the lights off. Um, it, it lets you just kind of be able to see through your camper if you have to get up and go to the bathroom or you know, if you're just coming into your camper at night, you don't want to have all your lights running. That's really all you need. Coming around, you get to the TV. And the cool thing about this is even though you can sleep so many people, they still manage to get a spot where you have seating directly across from the TV, which is phenomenal. And you can see you have great seating here too, and you still have a good angle to the TV. It's not the biggest one in the world, but the fact they were still able to accomplish that, I think is awesome. You'll see the multimedia center right down underneath. This one does have an HDMI and USB uh, inlet there too. So, you know, if you want to put some auxiliary equipment here, like a DVD player, Blu-ray player, something like that, you can just show you that you do have a little bit of storage underneath and it's basically built uh, you know, kind of like for that DVD collection. Some additional storage up top with that frosted glass too. Again, nothing huge, but the fact that it's there is great. Up top, I, I just want to show you this. So you do get the barreled ceiling here, so it gives you more head height, right? You don't feel closed in, which, you know, if you're going to have 7 to 14 people, is definitely something you want. You want to make sure that it feels nice and open. Ducted AC all the way throughout, making sure uh, that everyone's going to stay nice and cool here when we get to the back. You will see it is ducted for a second AC. Uh, that is one thing I personally would recommend if you're planning to, um, you know, have a lot of people in here just because it is a, a bigger coach. I would definitely get the second AC, make sure things stay nice and cool. So we move into the kitchen, fridge freezer combo right up top there. Uh, you know, of course your freezer, the fridge right down below, more than enough space, some crisper drawers right down there. So when it does run off both propane and electric, has automatic switch over. Microwave next to that, the hood underneath, the light and fan storage all the way across the top. Just kind of show you what you're looking at there. So decent storage spice rack here. I like that's built in a window to bring in some natural light and upgraded countertops. You will see that you have uh, like the heat pressed countertops. And the great thing about this folks is they're upgraded. Unlike T-Mold, you don't have to worry about anything, you know, popping off right here in the corner. So you don't have, you're not gonna have to worry about water getting in there and rotting out your countertop. Plus it allows you to undermount the stainless steel sink like you would if it's solid surface. Undermount's great. It's cleaner. You don't have a lip that's, uh, you know, a bunch of dirt gets stuck on. You can just sweep all the dirt right in there. And if you have a cover, uh, that will, you know, be a lot more flush, making that great usable prep space. Plus, you get the high rise pull out faucet here, making washing dishes nice and easy. And just in case you need more countertop space, they give you an extension right over there. You see the electrical outlet here. So if you need to um, plug anything in, you can, you know, if you have like a little something right here. But you also have an electrical outlet here, which I think is important. So that way if you have a coffee maker right there, um, you know, you can plug it in there for something that's a little more permanent. Three burner cooktop with a glass cover. So once again, this is usable prep space. Fold this up and back. That front burner is high output. 
Underneath that is your oven if you want to do a little bit of baking. And then underneath the sink, you will see that you have good space under there too. So if you want to throw some pots and pans, you can. Plus, you have access to the plumbing. Your thermostat's located here. That will run both your ducted AC as well as uh, the ducted floor heating. Making our way back a little bit, let's take a peek at the bathroom. So take a seat right here on the toilet. Uh, as far as space, it, it is slightly tight, um, you know, with because this is as much as the door opens here. So, you know, it's it, it's not bad. Like if you if you lean forward a little bit, definitely make it work, no problem at all. If you lean back, it's gonna be a little bit tight. Uh, but other than that, I have plenty of leg room. The bowl is plastic. That's one thing. Uh, Passport uses plastic bowls in all their RVs. And what's one of those things, you know, I'd probably use it for a few years. And then if it gets to a point where, you know, you want to change it out, it's no longer looking good, something like that. At that point, swap it out and put it, uh, put a porcelain in, but otherwise just rock the plastic for a few years. You can see there, you have plenty of space for a trash can, which I like. Of course, your electrical outlet, mirrored medicine cabinet with storage in that. Neo angle shower. I'll take a step in here. Take a look, folks. I'm six foot tall. Even without that skylight, I can still fully stand. If you're taller and you stand under that skylight, you can you know, be probably 6'3 or so, be able to stand in here and shower without having to bend down, which is pretty great. Right before we go to the back, I do wanna show you some storage. So right here, there you get some extra storage. Make, this makes a perfect linen closet, or if you need some overflow for clothes from the bunk room, you can put some in here. You'll also notice a couple of drawers there. This is really where this floor plan uh, takes over, right? This is the unique part about this floor plan, and this is so cool. Uh, I'd, I'll be curious to see how long it goes until manufacturers um, you know, do a copy of this one because currently it is unique to Passport. But folks, you have four double over double bunks, and all of these have a 300 pound weight capacity. Uh, you know, they have ladders built in for the top, so it is nice and easy to climb up here. And you know, again, it's six foot tall, you can see right here, I can lay here comfortably, no problem at all. You know, if I, if I need another person in here, now it does cut back a little, right? So the, whoever is here would have to be a little bit shorter. Uh, but the fact that as an adult, I can comfortably sleep in here is awesome. Two USB port or double USB port there on every single bunk. Plus you get the cubby hole. So that way it gives you a place to, you know, set your phone down, whatever else you need to do. Windows all around. You have windows top and bottom. You can see again, right over there. You have the, um, that cubby hole with the uh, dual USB port. And then take a look at this too. You'd think that would be it. That's, you know, that's really cool, but look at this. So you can take the top bunk, put it up on top. You're able to fold this up. You have a rear door right here, right? So you can come in the door, you can load everything up. Um, this side does the same thing, right? So you get all that extra storage while you are uh, going down the road, right? So you can load this, this whole slide up right here. Gives you a ton of storage, which is awesome. So great sleeping space, excellent storage. They got rid of carpet. You can see right here, they went to like a, a woven vinyl flooring. So super easy to clean. It's the same thing in the super slide. When we go out there, you'll see it. As I mentioned, rear entry, and I love this too. So you need to you know come in and go to bed, you can do that. You need to head on out. You don't have to go through the entire camper. The rear entry is great. Uh, it does have an upgraded step. We'll see that when we go out there. Coat hooks, you come in, hang your jackets up, head right back out. If you're looking for a trailer, if you have like a, like a hunting weekend that you do or like a week or so, um, you know, same thing if you have like a girl's week or weekend, this is an ideal trailer for it. You can come right in, you have plenty of sleeping here. Uh, everyone will be, um, you know, be accommodated. You don't have to make up beds and, or make up dinettes and couches and stuff unless you, wa unless you want to. Big hanging space, so plenty of space for clothes. You have double wardrobe on both sides, plus storage underneath, and then a TV right here in the center. So if you want to watch TV before bed, uh, you have that ability too. You have electrical outlet down here, and then once again, a courtesy light so that you're able to see as you're moving through the camper. Making our way up into the super slide. So once again, woven carpet, you can see that. Um, this one has blue light all, all the way underneath, and as I mentioned, you can turn that off. I'm not a huge fan of blue light. If you've seen my videos before, it's, it's not my favorite. You know, same thing with the, the courtesy lights. I would have preferred just like a clean white light, but it does add something. You know, it, 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 um, it does kind of make it pop. You will notice the U-shaped dinette. So you can, you know, easily sit several people around the table, have a meal together that does drop down into a bed. As I mentioned, you know, you, can, you might be able to uh, sleep two adults on there. You would have to cuddle, 
you know, this out of all the beds, um, you know, this one is probably a little bit more built for one, but you know, you can fit two people on there if you're okay cuddling. Big windows all the way around. Something else to note, the slide, the uh, windows on the side of the slide do open. A lot of manufacturers will put windows here, but they won't open just so they, the light comes in. But I like having functional windows. That way you can get cross breeze here through the slide itself. Uh, also with the U-shaped dinette, I do want to show you this. The big storage underneath, easy to get to. You'll have that on both sides. And then, whoop, there we go. And then the tri-fold sofa is located here. So we saw this earlier, straight shot across to the TV. This does fold out. And again, two people can sleep here. This thing is a sleeping machine. Making our way up into the bedroom, nice big doorway coming up into the uh, queen bed. Now with this one, as you can see, it's pretty tough to get around. So you, one of the reasons the door jam here is so big is so that you can just come in bed and just crawl right in, right? Because it's, it is a little tough to get around. Um, there's just not a ton of space, especially with my big butt. Ugh. But uh, you will see that you have wardrobes on both sides there, a little bit of storage up top, additional storage there. And if you want a TV in this bedroom as well, you can take a look right there. There's a spot to mount a TV here in the master. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2021 Keystone Passport 3400QD. Up front, folks, is the power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So all I have to do is flip the rocker switch here. That will raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light up front for added visibility at night and manual override in the rare event that the, uh, the motor does fail. Behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Rails here for your battery. It is big enough if you want two batteries. There is the capacity for it. And over on the other side is your, um, your solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. Coming up the front is diamond etch plating, protecting that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And above that is the gorgeous front three-quarter cap. One of the things I really like that Passport did is they kind of put this giant faux window on here. So it gives that look, that illusion of having a big window on the front, but without any chance of leaking. So I, I do like the aesthetic piece of that front cap. Coming around to the side is your storage, decent size uh, baggage door on here. If you take a look inside, again, same size door on the other side, so very large pass through all the way through. It is lit with a motion sensor light. That way, as soon as you open it up, it pops on for you. You will also notice power stabilizer jacks in there. One control operate the front two, the other the back two, and they are, it is tucked away inside the pass through rather than outside the unit, so there's less chance for uh, you know any kind of damage or anything to those uh, those controls. If you notice the awning, it is a very large awning on here. Touch a button to roll it out, same thing to go right back in. Uh, LED light strip on there, so that way it lights up at night. Your main entrance, your primary entrance will be here. You will see the more ride step above steps. These are great, very solid steps. I mean, I'm over 200 pounds. I can run up and down these things. They don't really flex. Uh, aluminum treads, they don't, the treads won't rust. Grip tape for added traction, adjustable feet and they give you the larger foldable grab handle, so that way you have that control from the very first step when entering the RV. Uh, underneath, this one is completely enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, so that way it will help prevent your tanks and lines from freezing up on you if you're camping late in the fall or early in the spring. And then, in a bunk model with those huge bunks, they still manage to give you an outside kitchen, which I think is phenomenal. So you'll see you have your beverage fridge there. Maybe you want to put some condiments in it. You can do that too. Plus you get prep space. And a lot of times when you have a smaller outside kitchen like this, um, this is very rare. It's something you don't get. But I love that if I'm sitting here and I'm cooking on my two burner cooktop, I have a spot for my plates right here. You know, I have a spot for like a stirring spoon, whatever it may be. Because a lot of times you don't get that and you have to have like a separate table set up. But that is not the case here. And all of this, I mean, this is so cool. It all just folds in just like that. Boom. Good to go. Of course, the propane connection here, the propane quick connect is underneath. If you want to hook up your own grill or something over here to that uh, quick connect, by all means, you can do that too. If you want a TV outside, you'll see your hookups and electrical outlet right there. Uh, if music is more your thing, you have a couple speakers right up top with those. Those, of course, are connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. Black tank flush located here. This is a great feature to have on any RV. Rather than sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, Hook it up right there, sprayers are built in, those will help 
wash out your back tank to make sure your sensors are staying clean. This one also comes equipped with load equalization axles, which is just a fancy name for a spread axle system. Uh, and with this, it, uh, it'll give you a better tow while going down the road because you have a wider wheelbase, you will get less sway. If you want water access on the campsite, this is where you will find it. So it is a little bit uh, back from the, from the outside kitchen. I wish it would have been a little bit closer, uh, but at least they, they did give you water access on the campsite. It is only cold, but again, at least you have something. Making my way back a little bit further, this is the Key TV multi-source controller, which again, that's just a fancy name for saying this is where your cable and satellite will go. And then they run that all the way, to, or all the way through the RV to all the um, uh, cable outlets and uh, satellite outlets throughout the RV. Outside shower with hot and cold access is on the back. So if you want hot water access outside, you do have that. And the cool thing about this too, is there's the entrance right here. So, you know, again, let's say, uh, you know, you have a beach weekend and you're all sandy, you need to wash off your feet. You can do that. You know, if you went fishing and you need to wash your hands, you can do that before you head in the camper if you want. Uh, I love having this set up right next to this set of stairs. And this is a very unique set of more ride steps here. And, uh, you know, again, it just folds up in the door like you would expect. These do fold up like that, and then they can just fold it right up and in, and then boom, fold the steps out. And same thing, aluminum treads, they're not gonna rust to see the grip tape on there. And again, folks, this is very solid. Uh, making our way back a little bit. Uh, actually, if you wanna point up top there, Sam, right above the door, I should point that out. That is where your backup camera uh, prep is located. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install. And on an RV like this, um, you know, it's a pretty decent sized travel trailer. It might not be a bad idea to get one of those. Also mounted to this back bumper is your spare tire and with a cover, that way it'll stay in good shape. And honestly, this is probably one of the easiest places to access a spare. You also see the square tubular bumper with end caps. So if you wanna uh, store your sewer hose in there, you can. That way it's not riding around with everything up front. 30 amp power cord will be located right there in between the slides. And if we make our way up front, very last thing I do wanna show you is this right here. This of course is your water inlet. So you'll have city water right here in the back, fresh water up front. The only thing I will say is oftentimes with your city water inlet, the, uh, the connection for it will be at the back of the RV. So I do recommend getting a couple hoses, uh, the fresh water hoses, that way you can make sure it will reach. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2021 Keystone Passport 3400 QD. If you're interested in this amazing travel trailer that can sleep a ton of people, simply click on the link in the description for price and availability. Also in the comments section, let me know what you think they nailed, what they failed, or if you were designing this RV, what you would change. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.